Good morning, dear students, and welcome back to a new session or a new lecture of Hunger by Kino Hanson. And it is a short summary, a great short summary about the about uh, this novel, uh, because I I see this novel a very rich one. It has a, a great message. I can say a lot of messages to the humanity. Um, it narrates something about the personal life of uh, the, the author. Uh, so that uh, last time I told you, or I have told you that um, uh, the personal life or the background of the author affected his work very much. Uh, so today, inshallah, we are going to go over the very short summary um, of this novel uh, involving some of the background or the history of, or the personal life of the author. Hunger is a novel by Kinut Hansen, and it is publi published in 1890 as Salt. It is the semi-autobiographical chronicle of the physical and the psychological hunger experienced by an, by an aspiring writer in the late 19th century Norway. So here it, it studies or it um, gives us some of the history of the physical and the psychological hunger experienced by an aspiring writer in the late 19th, 19th century in Norway. Uh, the unnamed narrator of this plotless episodic work is an introspective young man uh, whose hunger to succeed as a writer matches his intense physical hunger. Um, here he has um, a message. He says that this novel narrates uh, the enthusiasm of the, uh, the author or the writer uh, to be succe successful or to succeed in his work to uh, comparing him to the man uh, who is very hungry and needs um, or, or is starving or dying out of being hungry. Um, I think that uh, this ma uh, this this novel is not just narrating um, a story of a, a a hungry man, but it narrates a, a story or, or something about the background of the author about being successful and comparing himself to a very hungry um, a man that needs to eat something and he can he can do anything to uh, to eat. Uh, so here, maybe he is talking about something of deprived life or deprived, um, um, I can say, hobbies or hopes, uh, things like that. He lacks human contact. That's a very important point because I said before that um, Hansen um, had a, uh, I can say, a very awful childhood uh, till the till the time of uh, seventeen or the age of seventeen. Uh, why? Because his uncle, uh, if you remember, uh, was beating him and also was starving him. So he suffered a lot in the house of his uncle and his apprentice. So he lacked human contact and at times seemed demented. Uh, although he has occasional hunger-induced hallucinations. Hallucinations means saying, or hunger-induced hallucinations means that he has um, uh, uh, he, he's saying something like uh, clumsy words or unuseful words or uneasy words, things like that. So uh, his behavior is somehow affected by uh, the clumsy behavior. So he neither feels sorry for himself nor tries to rustify his situation. So he, he, he never felt sorry for himself about what, what he's going through, just like being hungry or being suffering from uh, starving. Uh, he never felt sorry about himself, and also he didn't even try uh, to rectify or to correct his situation. So he was just suffering. He didn't, um, I can say, he, he didn't push himself to uh, to correct his situation or to rectify his situation. Uh, that's why I see this uh, novel um, like a narration or a short narration to the history of uh, um, of the author or of the writer. Um, uh, and that's why also uh, I said that his personal life affected his work very much and deeply, profoundly. Um, I think this novel will be somehow like tragedy yes, uh, because it narrates the sufferings of the author or the writer. Um, not to change his situation or to correct his situation or uh, not even being sad for what he's passing through. The book's simple impulsive lyrical style marked a clear departure from the then prevalent so social 
uh, realism and they had an electrifying effect on European writers. It's a very important point here because this book it hit the, the, the people or the, the, the reader um, out of the, the, the social realism and also uh, it, uh, it influenced very much the European writers uh, to pay attention to the to the, the time they, they are passing through or the troubles that they have in their society. Uh, maybe the, the author he was suffering from uh, from the troubles that he passed through his, his life and he wanted to transfer this, uh, these feelings uh, to us uh, during his writings. Uh, that's why this novel is somehow rich and also deep. Uh, it has deep feelings because of the great sufferings the, uh, the, po or the, the author or the writer went through. Uh, it is a very short summary. Uh, I can say it is the whole summary of uh, the whole novel and afterwards I'll give you the summary in details um, chapter by chapter from chapter 1 to chapter 5. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Um, wait for me for the next video. Bye.